why does whole leadership matter? The leaders are the one that runs everything. They're the one that sets the culture for the environment. Program leader, it's the top of the umbrella. When I heard about whole leadership, it made me think about uh, the development of the whole child. Aha have I had about whole leadership. Vision is the most important part of empowerment. Um, you know, oneness, collaborative um, moments, and just um, being a unit. For me, the aha is related to how you deal with overall systems thinking. For example, people, policy, and practice. Being able to look at all of those things uh, in a way that helps you to create a vision for where you want people to be able to function most effectively within a systems approach. It's not just about people or about policy or about practice, but how those three things integrate and work together. My thought process around the administrative leadership was that you have two, you're managing and then you have leading a group of people. The difference between administrative leadership and program management is as a leader you inspire, you motivate, and as a manager, you respond to requirements. Quality, what does that mean? And that's a different way of leading people than just creating the schedules. We're now going into how do you motivate your people to do better. Through leadership policies, you have to have courage and impulse. You need those factors because um, kids are less fortunate than you. Somebody has to be the one that fights for them. Being an advocate for my parents as well as my children. They need us in this field of child care to find ample resources. I think the most important leadership skill is to be able to share your knowledge so that way others can continue to grow as leaders. There's not just one area, it's a it's a full package. Also knowing that just because you're the leader doesn't mean you do it alone. What advice would I give to someone who's just starting their leadership journey would be that they would be able to listen to others first and speak less. To surround yourself with positive people, positive influences, to always be on and never let them see you sweat. The whole concept of continuous quality improvement. Oftentimes, staff will accomplish something, they will meet a mark, if you will, and they will feel that it's a, a, a place to stop, as opposed to a new place to begin. If you see someone digging a hole, don't grab a shovel and start on them digging, but take their hand and pull them out and help them find solutions. I believe in inspiration. I believe in letting the directors, the teachers, anyone I am with know that I started from scratch. I went from an assistant teacher all the way up and I talk about it a lot so that they can realize that they can do it too. I love this journey of leadership. If I were a super leader, I would have the power to give others strength and ability to move forward in their leadership skills. My quality would be courage because I need the courage to start this new child care business that I've just gotten into. And I can give that courage to all my children because I love what I do. My superhero name would be the man of compassion. If I had superpowers, what would they be? And if I had a super name, what would it be? Wonder Woman, because that's how I feel when I'm in the office, Wonder Woman. And then I would have that magic lasso to bring truth and positivity to all our staff.